How's it going guys? My name is Redonkulous Dave and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use your PS4 controller to operate the drone camera in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. So let's get straight into it. Right, so the first thing you need to do is open up your Steam account. I do want to make it clear however that this will also work for the Microsoft Store version of Flight Simulator, not only for the Steam version. So open up your Steam account, in the top left hand corner click Steam, go down to Settings, head over to Controller and then hit General Controller Settings. From there you'll see a list popping up with tick boxes and you need to tick PlayStation Configuration Support. This will get your PS4 controller recognized by your PC for gaming and this is definitely the easiest way to get it done. So from here on we're going to head into the game and I'm going to show you how to set it all up. Alright, now that we have got our controller recognized, you need to fire up the game and you can make these changes while in flight or from the main menu, it really doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is hit escape, hit over to controls and up here you'll see things like your keyboard, your mouse, your joystick and everything you've got connected in here. But the one we are looking for right now is the wireless controller. Click on that, head down here at filter and click all. Now we're looking for camera drone camera scroll down and we are looking for drone pitch axis click on that click on search by input and here you are going to push your right thumbstick upwards and it'll say joystick r axis z and click validate now we are looking for drone your axis click on that search by input and push your right thumbstick to the left and click validate we are going to skip the drone roll axis you can map buttons to that if you want to we're just going to skip it for now we are looking for drone x translation axis click on that search by input and push your left thumbstick to the left and say validate now we are looking for drone y translation axis click on that search by input and push your left thumbstick upwards and say validate now if you move your thumbsticks around you'll see some movement happening. What I prefer to do is to reverse the axis on my pitch. This is a personal preference, you can change these around as you want to. Now you're going to click apply and save and now we're going to map some buttons to make this all work. Alright, now that we have all of this set up, we want to scroll down and we're looking for translate drone backward. Click on that, search by input and hit L1. Click validate. Now you're looking for translate drone forward. Click on that, search by input and click R1. Click validate. Now from here you're going to scroll down looking for reset drone target offset. Click on that, search by input and for this I use L3. So left thumbstick click. You can use anything you want for this. Click validate, scroll down right to the bottom and over here we're looking for toggle drone camera, click on that, search by input and hit X. And there we go. So with that done, we are going to scroll all the way back to the top. We can close that, we want to open up cockpit camera and scroll all the way to the bottom. So we are looking for reset cockpit view, click on that, search by input and hit triangle and validate. And at the bottom, we are looking for toggle cockpit view, click on that, search by input and hit circle and click validate. So from here, you're going to click apply and save and that is that. So let's jump back in the plane and see how all of this works. Alright, so we are back in the plane and if I hit X, that'll give us our drone view. From here, I can use L1 to zoom out, I can use R1 to zoom in and I can use my thumbsticks to move the camera around and it's beautifully smooth. If I want to hop back into the plane, I hit circle on the controller and that'll put me back into my previous position. If I hit triangle, that'll reset me to the default view of the current aeroplane. But that is going to be it for today, guys. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and checking out my other content as well. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.